All right, low ABV cocktails. Why should you even care about that? Isn't it better to get a stiff drink and get buzzed quicker? That's the point, no? Not necessarily. Sometimes guests want something less strong for various reasons. Maybe they already had a few drinks, maybe they have some kind of commitment and just want a light drink, or maybe they're a little bit pregnant and just want a little bit of alcohol. That last one is a joke. Either way, this is a fun and funky little cocktail to have up your sleeve. It's time to make the Kitty Highball. You might not have heard of this cocktail before, and truth is, most bartenders probably haven't either. I learned about this only a few years ago while working at the Penrose Bar in New York City. The cocktail dates back to 1941 and can supposedly be found in this book. The original recipe calls for equal parts of red wine and ginger ale, but we're gonna make the much more interesting version created at a bar called Fresh Kills in Brooklyn. Fresh Kills is a really cool cocktail bar, literally right around the corner from Maison Premier, another great cocktail bar that I mentioned in a video a couple of weeks ago. So for the base spirit, we're gonna need red wine. I just picked up a bottle of some cheap stuff. Just use whatever you have around. Don't go nuts, so save that screaming eagle for another day. Then you're gonna need some ginger syrup. Check out this recipe on how to make that, super easy. Some fresh lime juice and club soda. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna start with my ginger syrup. Three quarter of an ounce. Half an ounce of lime juice. and two ounces of your red wine. We're just gonna give this a really quick hard shake because this cocktail is gonna be served over ice and topped with club soda, so you don't wanna dilute it too much, meaning do not shake it for too long. All right, let's try this little gem. Okay, so first of all, this is so pretty. Like, I love the color of this. I love the nice foam you get from it. Garnish it with some, fre um, not fresh ginger, but some candied ginger. This is super refreshing. And like I said, just use whatever wine, because I can tell you for a fact that this cheap wine that I used is not good on its own. But in this cocktail, it's great. And you get a lot of fruit off of this cocktail because wine is made from grapes. Go figure. You get the spice from the from the ginger syrup, and the acidity from the lime is there to balance it out, and you know, it's just really refreshing, really good. So I highly recommend you make this cocktail. All right, that's it for today. Make sure you make this cocktail, take pictures of it, post it on Instagram, tag me, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.